Hey guys, what's up? This is Kogan Ninja. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for checking out my channel. All right, let's get into that. Let's get into it right now with this uh, video. And what I'm going to be talking to you about is something that I always get questions on. People always emailing me and asking me, or they'll put comments in my uh, uh, my channel, the responding to different videos. The question is microfiber versus wool layout which is different which is better blah 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 so that's you know what what is everyone playing on what's better da, 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 da. and it really comes down to this guys it's really really simple there's two types of there's two types of layouts that you're going to encounter as a dice controller the first one is uh the billiard style felt wool layout, which is what I have right here. And then the other is microfiber. Now the difference between the two is this is a lot thicker and it has a, a, a backing, what is known as white backing on it. And the other one is microfiber and the difference between, uh, uh, and, and microfiber, it's a thin layer of, of material, but the thing with microfiber is, is you can print all kinds of cool colors on it. Whereas wool or felt layouts, you can only do like a few different colors and it's most, and it's all silk screening. So a lot of the casinos are switching over to microfiber and people think, a lot of dice controllers think that, oh, they're switching over to microfiber because it's bouncier. No, 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 that's just not true, all right? It's not that microfiber is more bouncier than, than felt layouts. That has nothing to do with anything. What it has to do with is what's under the layout. You have to understand when you build a craps table, you have, you have the, 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 the deck, which is usually wood, like a, a high high end uh, plywood. Then on top of that, you have what is known as the underlayment, and that could be new. That could be anything. That could be newspaper. It could be flannel. It could be uh, none at all. It, it could be spongy foam material. Uh, it could be anything. And then on top of that, then you have either the microfiber or the, the wool or felt layout. Bounciness comes from the underlayment, not that it's either wool or microfiber, but there's this weird thing. People think that because it's microfiber that the table's automatically gonna be bouncy. I don't know how they're making that relation, how they're connecting the two, but that is completely not how it works. The difference, the only difference between microfiber and felt is one is slightly thicker than the other. The felt is usually thicker than microfiber. And the other difference is microfiber is a little faster, meaning it, the dice slip on it a little faster, slip on it a little bit more than wool or the, the felt layouts. That's the only difference, guys. I have played on both. And if the table is not bouncy, either or, then you're good to go. There's no difference. I don't know why people make the dis the, the connection or they, they think that because it's microfiber, it's more bouncy than, than wool. For some reason, felt layouts, wool layouts, are not as bouncy. I don't know how they make that connection. And it has nothing to do with that. The, the, the way tables are made, it's the underlayment. It's the underlayment that determines if the table is hard or bouncy, not the layout, not microfiber, not felt. That doesn't determine the bounciness. So I don't know how they make that connection. It just boggles my mind that, that, that people are thinking like this. It has nothing to do with that. So if you are playing on a microfiber table, just know 
that the action of the dice are going to be a it's going to be a little bit faster. That's all. Because it, it, it's it, the, the material is a little bit slipperier. That's all. Now, have I seen super bouncy tables that have felt on it? Absolutely, I have. So, you know, I've seen tables where they all they do is, is they just keep putting new felts on top of the old felt. And, and so there's like four layers of felt. And so you go up and you put your finger on it and it literally feels like a wrestling ring or a boxing ring. I mean, you can literally feel the indention. So, so don't get confused that microfiber is always connected to bouncy tables. That is just not how it works, guys. I've seen microfiber tables that are hard, medium hard, to super, to super spongy, to super bouncy. And I've, and I've seen the same thing with felt. So it's not, the, the felt doesn't determine the bounciness of the table. That is false. It, that does, it doesn't work that way. What determines the bounciness of the table is the underlayment. What is under either the microfiber or the felt. So when you are throwing on microfiber versus felt, is there a difference? Not really. And if there is, it's very, very tiny. Very, very tiny. Uh, you might, with the exception of with microfiber, it tends to pit. And so when the dice hit it, pits, and then little pieces of, of fiber come flying off. If there's a big patch that's missing, yeah, it's gonna affect the dice a little bit more. But it's rare when you see that. Casinos rarely ever let it get that bad where there's a patch that's missing on the casino, excuse me, on the microfiber. When it gets that bad, they remove it or they relayer it. So, so don't get in the, this weird, don't get into the mistake of thinking that microfiber is always bouncier than felt. That's just not true. How, and, and, and just understand that you're gonna treat the throw the same way on each felt. It's the same, just treat it the same. You know, like I said, I've seen tables super bouncy with felt on it, and I've seen uh, microfiber tables that have been, you know, both bouncy and hard, and same thing with felt, bouncy and hard, all different uh, 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 conditions from super hard to super bouncy. Now, if it's the felt and the microfiber, and there's absolutely no underlayment between the two on both of them. In other words, it's just the felt and the wood versus, uh, versus the microfiber and the wood. It, the microfiber is gonna be extremely hard because you're gonna feel the crack of the wood when the dice, when the dice hit, you're gonna hear clack, clack, clack. You're gonna hear it really, really loud. With, with felt, you don't hear it as bad. There's nothing under this. This is literally laying on top of a piece of, of hard wood. So if that was the condition, the microfiber would be extremely, extremely hard. Um, the, it would be the equivalent of, the felt would be three layers, roughly two to three layers of to one microfiber layer. So that would be the about the equivalent. So anyway, there you go guys. Tried to make this video as short as I possibly could. So there you go, microfiber versus wool. Just treat it the same. Uh, when you do the throw, there's not anything that you really need to do different. Uh, like I said, all tables are, you know, different conditions from hard to soft both microfiber and on felt. You just gotta figure out what you're playing on. And there you go, you're good to go. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for uh, checking out the video. Check out my website, www.koganinjadicecontrol.com. Check out my products page, the whole nine yards. Check out the, my group seminar information, everything. All that's gonna be posted up soon. All right, thanks guys.